Hi, welcome to Rama Reddy Maths Academy. This is the fourth lecture of multiple integral. In this lecture, I will going to explain here in which the limits uh, are not given. In the place of the limits, the bounded region is given. Means what? Instead of the limits, the region is given. By using these two regions, I will going to calculate the limits and find the double integral. Today, we are going to discuss how to find the limits by using these two regions. First of all, what is the given problem? Read the problem carefully. Children, we have two problems that are clear. We have two limits. We have two regions, two parabolas. By using these two parabolas, I need to calculate the limits. First of all, what is the given problem? The double integral bounded by the region y dx dy where r is the region bounded by the parabolas y square is equal to 4 x is one parabola and other one another one is x square is equal to 4 y okay first what we have to do the region in uh, the actually the region is defined to be bounded by these two parabolas means first what we have to do you have to draw the parabolas what is the given parabolas here so these two what are the given parabolas first you need to write the parabolas here y square equal to 4x one parabola and another one is is x square is equal to 4y first of all i want to draw the graph for these two parabolas okay first of all i will consider c x and y axis now this is x and this is y minus x minus y okay here the parabola y square is equal to 4x means which is along with x axis now the parabola how we can write this is what y square equal to 4x and time out on the which is along with x axis and along to the parabola this is look like this y square is equal to 4 x which is along with x axis then another one is x square is equal to 4y means this parabola which is along with y axis i'll take another color why because i'll tell this is y axis is it clear all of you now this is what y square equal to 4x and this one is x square is equal to 4y observe the graph carefully if you consider this parabola this is along with x axis and consider the second one this is along with y axis okay now you have now you see the boundary region between these two parabolas. What is the boundary region here? Now I will going to shape the boundary region between these two parabolas means intersecting of these two parabolas. That is the boundary region. I am going to shade this one. See, children, ne, irandit ke intersecting a boundary region in and shade just to with red color. Okay, is it clear? In the current and blue black this kuna and limits of the upper upper limit and lower limit and I have to identify very easy. Okay, now we have to find the limits of x and y. Okay, for the region. This what is the region? What is our region? Here to here. This is our region for that. So for getting the limits of uh, x and y for this region, we need to find the uh, we need to find the points or means uh, point of intersections okay for that for finding the point of intersection we need to solve these two equations how we can solve i will explain one by one listen carefully first of all what is the given equation from 1 into we know that y square is equal to what 4x and if you consider x square is equal to 4y now i'll consider uh, let us consider x square is equal to 4y and square square the equation squaring on both sides okay i want to square this equation on both sides then what will happen it will become to x square whole square and 4y whole square 
this will become to what beta x square 4 square y square but we know that from our 1 since from 1 from 1 y square is equal to 4x right then put that value here then automatically the, the total equation changed in terms of x then automatically we will get one a limit value x okay then come on substitute that value here it will change it to y square is equal to what 4x shall I write the equation like this this is x power 4 nana x power 4 why because we already squared that equation x power 4 is equal to what 4 cube x now I need to write in one equation form x into 4 cube equal to 0. From these two values, what is a common term here? Shall I take x is a common? Then what is the remaining? This is x power 4 beta. Then what is the remaining term? If you take x common, this is x cube minus what? 4 cube is equal to 0. Okay. Then solving these two equations from from here we will get x is equal to 0 then again from here we will get x is equal to 4. Again I will repeat uh, the answer see listen carefully. So for getting the limits I have to I want to find the point of intersection limits for that I need to solve these two equations. First I want to consider the second equation and squaring on both sides and put our first equation value I will get the limits of x. Okay, if you get the uh, limits of x, then what we have to do, put x is equal to 0 here or in any equation, you will get the y values. Okay, if you put x is equal to 0 here, then uh, what is our y value? What is our y value? If you put x is equal to 0, then y will become to what? From uh, one second, from 1 and right here. Let's observe the equation carefully from 1 from 1 when x is equal to 0 oh, x is equal to 0 then what will happen what will happen why it will become to 0 and uh, from 1 when x is equal to 4 then what will happen x is equal to 4 here then what will happen y square is equal to 16 y square is equal to 16 means y is equal to what 4 is it clear all of you is it clear see now I got this then after that what we have to do what is the point of intersection what is the point of intersection here now we have to identify the point of intersection that is 0 0 x is what here I am going to mark it in uh, green color x is what point of intersection 0 0 and another one is what x from first took a point a much in the 0 comma 0 then another one is what 4 comma 4 if you take x 4 then y is 4 then point of intersection is this is from 0 0 and this is what the point of intersection this is 4 comma 4 is it clear now 4 comma 4 yes then what are the limits what are the x limits first of all you see after getting this point of intersection all the people uh, just randomly by blindly here 0 to 4 one limit and 0 to 4 another limit that is the wrong way okay first after getting the point of intersection, we need to find the y limits also. That is not in terms of constant. If you consider x limits are constant, then y, y is what? It is already given. I will explain one by one. Now, here, first of all, this is 0, 0. Means what? Uh, 0. Here, x is 0, y is 0. x 4, y 4. Means x varies from where to where? 0 to 4. Okay, here the limits will be, listen, limits will be, x limits will be 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4. Okay, 
Now we have to identify the y limits. How to identify the y limits? Don't skip the video. This is very very important concept. Then you put chala important and x limits watch in Tarvata. Chala man the event and madam. I'm going to consider 0 to 0 and 0 to 4. If you consider 0 to 4, the point is like this. If you consider again 0 to 4, 4 and y nikka touch just If you consider that, what is our region? That will be square. But don't consider the square. We want the region, the shaded region in, in the red color. Red color lo unna shaded region ka wali. Meri la tis kunta mani kei mustundi? Square ostundi. For that, what we have to do? After getting the x limits, how to consider the y limit? See the graph. From the graph only, we can consider the y limits. Observe carefully what is the lower limit of y and what is the upper limit of y. How to consider that? Very, very important. See in the graph the lower curve in, in the color. Lower curve color is black. Black means what is that curve? X, is, X square is equal to 4y. Then what are the limits for that? Means lower limit is more If you consider this part, this is what? Black. This is a lower curve. This is what? X square is equal to 4y. X square is equal to 4y. From here, what is our y value? x square by 4 and the lower limit intended x square by 4 then observe the graph what is the upper curve of the shaded region that is in the color of blue in the color of blue means it it represents what is which parabola y square equal to 4x it represents c i am indicate with color also y square is equal to 4x from here how to get y value y is equal to what and a root of 2x or uh, okay squaring on both sides now if you're squaring on both sides it, this will get cancelled 4 will become to what uh, root 2 this is what x square okay then what is the value Sorry, sorry. This is the same. This is 2. This is square. This is x. This is root x. And then 2 root x. Then what is the lower limit? By observing the shaded region, this is indicates in the black curve. That is x square equal to 4y. From here, consider y limits in terms of x. From here, I will take, I will bring this term into this side. This will become to x square by 4. Then y square equal to 4x. The upper curve. Upper curve, it indicates in blue color that is y square equal to 4x then y is equal to what square will become to that side this will become to 2 and this will x will become to root x is it clear now i will going to evaluate the double integral now it is very easy what is what is uh, the double integral how to evaluate the double integral the double integral of what is our first upper limit is x is equal to 0 to 4 then the lower limit sorry sorry one limit is x limit is 0 to 4 then next y limits in the y limit what is our lower limit lower limit indicates black color that is what x square by 4 2 what is upper limit it indicates with blue color what we got here x root x is it clear into what is a given function ma y dx dy now by using these two bounded parabolas, we already find the bounded region and the limits and the given function is already given. Then put, simplify this, we'll get the answer. Okay. Then how to simplify first, I need to listen carefully. What is our first method? If f, x limits are constant, y in terms of x, then what we have to do? First integrate with respect to dy. We integrate with respect to dy. Then it is 0 to 4 and dy. dy to chest first integration and demo to y square by 2. The limit says x square by 4 to 2 root x. What is the remaining? dx. Tell us again, we already method 1 law solve. Now, this is what? 0 to 4 y square by 2. In the place of y, you need to substitute 2 root x. 2 root x by 2, 2 root x whole square by 2. In the place of y, put the upper limit minus of lower limit. In the place of y, x square by 4 
whole square by 2. Okay, then simplify this after that integrate with respect to dx. Now, after simplification here, I got uh, this is 2 will become to 4 square root get cancel 4 by 2. Shall I write one more step? This is what 4x by 2. Okay, minus this is uh, x square by 8 uh, x to the power of 4 by 8 this fraction will become to 1 by 2 sorry 2 by 1 okay student number and the nickel simplify yes no no 2 ones are 2 fours are 4 ones are 4 twos are then after simplification what we got it here this will become to what this will become to 0 to 4 what is the remaining here 4 2 ones are 2 twos are 4 right 2 ones are 2 twos are. and then again to chinnandi 4 or 2 this is listen carefully y square by 2 is there any more simplification uh, if you take 1 by 2 common then what will happen okay okay fine see here uh, a simplification is fine 2 1s are 2 2s are the remaining 2x minus x power 4 by 4 then after that integrate with respect to x this will this will become to what with respect to x 2x square by 2 this is x to the power of 5 by 5 5 4s this is 20 right then our limits is 0 to 4 after putting the limits now i got it this is 2 into 2 4 what is our upper limit 4 4 square by 2 minus 4 to the power of 5 by 20 then the lower limit is 0 after simplification now i got our answer is 48 by 5 this is our final answer the how see how we can find the solution like this it is very very easy the thing is first of all what is the given problem you need uh, you you have to read the problem carefully what is the boundary region the boundary region in between these two parabolas for that i want to draw the graph here first of all y square is equal to 4x means which is along with x axis i need to uh, draw the graph in uh, blue color the next y x square equal to 4 my 4 y means that is along with y axis consider the graph along with y axis after that uh, i want to so uh, this uh, after solving this graph we graph draws in throughout the manake in tell us to me will get the bounded region that is shaded in red color okay now we have to find the limits of x and y for that uh, for getting the limits, I want to solve these two equations. What is that? I want to consider the a second equation and squaring on both sides and put this value here. I will get x limits. If you put x is equal to 0 in the first equation, what will happen? What will happen? y will become to 0. If you put x is equal to 4 in the first equation, it will be, uh, what happen? y will become to 4. Then what are the uh, what are the limits of this 0 0 and 4 4 Th these are the boundaries okay region boundaries then how to find the x and y limits by considering the x limits is constant which it is happens here 0 to 4 then y limits is not constant if you consider constant values it uh, it's uh, construct a square okay man mala teesukoddu y limits ela teesukuntunnana ichina 20 graph lo ee region lo red color mark chesina region lo lower curve is black color black color lo unna 20 parabola enti di x square equal to 4y and x square equal to 4y nundi y value em ostundi x square by 4 in the upper curve it is blue color y square equal to 4x then y is equal to 2 root x you got the upper limit also then now you can evaluate the given double integral with these two limits i'll get the answer is 48 by 5 is it clear this video make ardhamai anukuntunnanu very very important ardhamai the ganaka dayaches like cheyandi share cheyandi and subscribe cheyandi ilanti problems inka chuddam